Greetings, everyone. I tell you, this is a full day, but I'm starting it off right. I did some writing this morning, and uh, yeah, I've got a quick word I want to share with you. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about what's going on in my day, in case you want to know. You may not want to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I've got some good tea. Boy, I tell you, I start my day off with tea, and, and today I got some uh, raspberry balsamico and grape oolong. Delicious. I want to sneak this recording in before I've um, got a painter coming in to paint my prayer room. I'm excited about my prayer room. I've got a special prayer room that, uh, that I'm going to use for uh, reading the Word, meditating the Word, studying, praying, and just spending time with God. I'm excited about that. So before he comes and things get busy around here, um, I want to get this message to you. It's a quick word, but it's a good word. Um, also, let me tell you something else going on with me today. I'm going to visit Reverend Clyde Adams, who is the pastor emeritus, former pastor at Union Baptist Church, the church I grew up in. And, and, and I, okay, here comes the painter. So let me get this to you. Uh, Reverend Adams is a hundred years old, man. Ooh, man, I want some of that long life anointing. And Union Baptist and Reverend Adams, um, that's the church that I grew up in and uh, gave me a foundation for the Bible. And Jesus, the cross, it's all about that cross. So I'm, I'm going to visit him. I want to visit him before he uh, uh, departs to be with the Lord. And uh, not that that's going to happen anytime soon. He might live to 120. I don't know, but I want to go see him. And so myself and a uh, pastor friend of mine, we're going to go and visit him. All right. But let me give you this word. Um, if you're going through a trial, a test, or struggling, I want to encourage you to get your hopes up. One of the pieces in the armor of God is the helmet of salvation. And... Ephesians 6, 17. 1 Thessalonians 5, 8 says, as a helmet, watch this. It also talks about the helmet of salvation, but it gives us something else it's about it. It says, as a helmet, the hope of salvation. Hope, hope is important. I mean, you can't live without hope. Not successfully, not victoriously. And and our minds have a tendency to gravitate toward the negative. If you get a call at midnight, oh man, what's wrong? Who died? You know, your mind have a tendency to go there. So it's important to have hope. What is hope? The dog is barking at the painter. Okay. Hope is the confident expectation of good. And so the Bible tells us in Romans 12, 2, to renew our minds. So we need to renew our minds to hope for the best. Don't look for the worst. If they're talking about layoffs on a job, don't think, well, I'm probably going to be next. All right? And, um, and if you're going through a trial, have a confident expectation that you're going to come out victorious, no matter what it looks like. Don't expect the worst. Have a confident expectation of good and expect the best, and you'll end up on top. See, I told you it would be quick. Hope that encourages you. Have a wonderful day.